In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to super clean your car's rubber floor mats and how to protect them without necessarily dressing them. Now let's get started. So I have with me here four rubber floor mats from a Toyota Camry. And the issue with rubber floor mats is that Carpeting can kind of hide some of the dirt sometimes and it helps a little bit because you know You can't quite see the dirt as uh, as apparently but with rubber floor mats I mean the dirt just shows up like crazy because there's no fibers for the dirt to fall in between so even though it's easy to clean these, they just look really bad when they're dirty. And so they really have to be cleaned because obviously your feet are being rubbed against these, they get scuffed up pretty easily. And so I wanna show you guys my exact process to cleaning and protecting rubber weather floor mats. So of course I have with me here my super clean degreaser. And just as a note, you can really use any sort of degreaser or even sometimes an all-purpose cleaner to clean weather mats. It's a pretty easy standard process but I just reach for my super clean not because it's just the best at cleaning rubber weather floor mats but just because it's a great product it's a degreaser and it's gonna work now I dilute it five to one but you can also use full strength degreaser to clean rubber weather floor mats depending on how bad they are now I'm gonna go ahead and start with the driver's side floor mat because you guys can see that there's a ton of dirt collected on this one now I've got two different scrub brushes here one is my top scrub brush and this is just a detailed brush that I like to use that's a little bit skinnier has some really really firm brushes right here so let me bring you guys in and show you exactly how I'm gonna super clean this rubber weather floor mat I only need three things I've got my brushes I've got my degreaser and then I've got my hose now all I'm gonna do is hose off the surface dirt from these rubber floor mats because obviously the surface dirt is gonna come off pretty easily because it's just a rubber mat it's not being stuck to anything so I'm just gonna hose it off and get that surface dirt off before I put my cleaner on it. And there we go. And just as an added note, weather mats are in a lot of ways kind of like tires when it comes to cleaning them. When they're wet, they all look really clean because they have that deep black look. So to really see if a weather mat is clean, then you're gonna have to let it dry. So next, I'm just gonna take my five to one super clean and I'm gonna spray it all over the mat and I'm gonna be very, very generous. Now next, I'm gonna take my tire brush and I'm just gonna scrub uh, pretty hard and I don't have to be gentle while I'm scrubbing. I can scrub really hard because once again, this is just a rubber mat. It's very durable, it's not fragile at all. So obviously you can see that the super clean is really working. A lot of times I compare it to hydrogen peroxide. It really just bubbles up and you can see that it's cleaning all that stuff. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and hose all of this off. Now when you're at this point, in a lot of ways the weather mat seems like it's very, very clean. But what I've found is that if you leave this just to one cleaning, especially when it's this dirty, a lot of times there's these little spaces that collect dirt. Weather mats have these grooves that go up and down, side to side, and all sorts of stuff. And inside these tiny grooves, up against the edges, and in these really small spaces that you don't really see that often, there's these, this dirt that collects that's very difficult to get out. And that's where I get my more detailed, specific brush to come in. So all I'm gonna do is do another pass with my super clean, specifically around these tight spaces and this lettering. This is a Toyota Camry, so it says Camry right here. I'm gonna spray another pass on the lettering and I'm really just gonna get in all the little grooves and the edges. And I'm gonna take my really firm kind of grout brush and I'm just gonna scrub in these spaces And now we've got a clean rubber floor mat that needs to dry. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing, the exact same process to the other three of these floor mats, and then I'm gonna bring you guys back in, show you how they need to dry, and show you how you can actually protect them for the next time that you go to clean them. So I've got the mats drying behind me right now, and a quick note, when your mats are drying, you want them to dry in the shade because just like your car that has hard water that dries on the paint and it leaves water spots, 
It'll do the same thing to this rubber black mat, if not even more so, so I want to make sure it's drying in the shade. But you can also just wipe it with a microfiber towel to dry it, or just blow it off with your compressed air, or a leaf blower, or something like that. But I'm going to go ahead and dry these all off with my microfiber towel, and bring you guys in and show you exactly what I do to finish these rubber weather floor mats. So the issue with dressing weather mats is that it's dangerous because the floor mat gets slippery when there's a dressing applied to it. And so so you kind of put your client in danger of like slipping and accidentally hitting the brake or the pedal. So I don't want to put anything that's going to make this slippery, but you'll find that when the weather mat dries, a lot of times there's like a light haze or like some scuffing or just like some light dirt that kind of rises back up and hazes over. And I want to get rid of that completely so that this is just a dark floor mat. And so I basically have two ways that I like to do this. Number one, Meguiar's has a product called Meguiar's Natural Shine Protectant. And this is just a Scotch Guard kind of visually enhancer slash protector. So this contains Scotch Guard and so it's a very, very powerful protectant for any interior surface. But the other amazing thing about this is that it's not slippery at all. It has absolutely no greasy or oily finish whatsoever. And so the only thing this does is almost deepen the black and put a layer of protection on it so that it's even easier to clean the next time you come around. So this thing is very safe to use. And then the other thing I would use is of course my Meguiar Synthetic Express Spray Wax. And this is not going to leave this to be slippery at all either. I know other detailers who would argue with me on this, but I do this to my own car, I do it to my customer's car, and I have even asked my customers, have you ever had any trou trouble with like the friction of your foot against this after I've applied this sort of wax or natural shine protectant. And every one of them has told me absolutely not, no way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shine this one with Meguiar's natural shine protectant and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I'm just gonna apply it to my microfiber towel and then just on this top part, there's much less ridges and stuff so it's a whole lot easier to apply it to something like this. Now of course, this product does not like shine it and make it overly shiny or anything like that. It just kind of restores it to a more deep black look and it's going, it's got a, a certain level of cleaners or cleaning agents in it. And so it's also going to just kind of clean off that last minute hazy dirt. Now in regard to these like ridgy parts that are more difficult to get in between, I'm gonna take my Meguiar's Natural Shine Protectant and I'm just gonna spray two light applications just like that. I'm gonna take my microfiber towel, I'm gonna get a little detailed with this and I'm just gonna go in between each ridge and I'm gonna rub this in. And then for these parts that are more difficult to get to in between these ridges, I might take my thin kind of detailer brush, wrap it with my microfiber towel like this, and then that allows me to get into these crevices. So this is the final weather rubber floor mat dressed with Meguiar's Natural Shine Protectant. And once again, any dirt like haze that came up when it was dried is totally taken off and it doesn't shine it near as much as it just makes it like a deeper black and it protects it for the next time that I want to clean it. So now I'm going to go ahead and dress the passenger side weather mat with the Meguiar Synthetic Express Spray Wax and show you guys the difference. Alright, so here's the finished weather mat that was uh, dressed with Meguiar Synthetic Express Spray Wax. So you guys can check that out. There might be a tiny, tiny little bit left in these grooves, but once again, that's gonna dry up no problem. So that's what it looks like. Now let's go ahead and compare both side by side. All right, so there you go. This one on the left is Meguiar's Synthetic Express Spray Wax. This one on the right is Meguiar's Natural Shine Protectant. And I think it's pretty obvious that this one on the right is a little bit more black, a little bit deeper black look, but that's because this product, Meguiar's Natural Shine Protectant, does enhance the black, whereas the Meguiar Synthetic Express Spray Wax is really just dedicated to protecting. So you guys can be the judge on which one you like better. So once again, I just want to reiterate that both of these products are safe 
for the weather mats. I've tested them, I've experimented with them. It's totally fine. It's not gonna make things slippery like a dressing, like a tire dressing would. These are not gonna be oily or greasy. It's very, very safe, especially when it dries. And once again, this is not a necessary step. It's just a way to kind of bring that to level 10 service and really get rid of any of that last minute dirt that might have dried while the mat was drying. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure to hook those up in the comments section below. If you like this video and it helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you're new here, then consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos for the pro detailers and the car enthusiasts alike on products, tools, and strategies to use and things like communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help the pro detailers. And of course, if you'd like to buy any of the products I talked about today, whether it be the Natural Shine Protectant or the X-Wax, make sure to check out the links in the description box below. Just hit the show more button and you'll see those links. They'll take you straight to Amazon and I'd be very grateful if you use my links because of course it does give me a small commission and it helps the Wilson Auto Detailing channel and community stay alive. Now guys, thank you so much for watching and from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, I'll see you guys in the next video.